Well, here's the Arsenal team. Without its surprises, number seven, Radford, obviously a man who is going to bring danger to Swindon's hopes. He scored 19 goals this season. Such a well-balanced side, this Arsenal one, with a magnificent defence and skipper today by Frank McClintock. His fourth Wembley appearance and three times he's been on the losing side. Twice with Leicester City in the FA Cup, last season with Arsenal in this Football League Cup. And Swindon, they feel the side that beat Burnley in the semi-final with one exception. At full-back, Owen Dawson is injured and John Trollock comes in at number three. Vastly experienced player. He comes in at number three. And of course they have a man, their number 11, that uh, Arsenal must fear, Don Rogers, whose football really puts him in a class high above the third division. A winger who can score goals and he's got 22 of them this season. The referee this afternoon is Mr. Bill Handley from Cannock in Staffordshire, waiting to call the two captains together now. And John Smith well inside that centre circle as Arsenal kick off. And here's Peter Storey. Smith and the first flash from Rogers. Good ball here to Butler. Bring it on for Smart. And it's going to take a little time for the teams to get used to the pace of this pitch it's going to stop and it's going to start it's going to get caught up in the mud and on the sand story again for Arsenal to Radford and he couldn't keep it in Radford of course who has already experienced Wembley this season having played for England here John Radford Stan Harland skipper of Swindon giving his orders McClintock to Radford. Gould flicking that on very nice and McClintock coming forward as he likes to. Gould! Good covering by Swindon though. Certainly their nerves are not showing yet. But Gould again to Samuels. Good shot! Good save! From Samuels, number eight. John Smith coming away for Swindon. Don Rogers. Beating one and another. And the roar is going with him. Little jink. And a good cross. And it needed your to get that one away. Good work by Rogers Smith. And a chance for Rogers again to keep it up. Off the referee. Breaking nicely for Swindon to Smith. To the far post. Noble is there. And Wilson lost the ball. Smart was nearly there to bang it home. A bad mistake by Wilson. Radford coming for this one. And putting it between Trollope's legs. Good recovery by Trollope, though. Noble now to Rogers. Every time Rogers gets that ball, a roar goes up from the hopeful throats of Swindon. to Smart. Rogers running inside. And Rogers is away. Now here's a great chance for him. Good work by Wilson. Noble following up. And my goodness, that Arsenal defence was caught wide open then. And Wilson atoning for that earlier mistake. Good quick throw by Armstrong to Samuels. And deflected over his own goalkeeper. Story popping it back again quickly to Court. My goodness, that was going cool. Just passed. Started by Court, almost finished off by Bobby Gould, who thinks that he's won a corner. But Mr. Handley is saying, no, it's a goal kick to Swindon Town. And certainly no lack of excitement in the first 16 or 17 minutes. Samuels, Samuels and McGlintock already beginning to do some good work in midfield for Arsenal. This is Radford. Oh, one of those little ones to the near post. Goal going in. McGlintock, and he's won.
Simpson. Radford! <laughs> Having a game of his own, Downsborough. He's got it down now. The three man Swindon Wall forming up. Samuels playing it wide for Story. And now Rogers bringing it out of defence for Swindon. Lovely play. And there to take the return. Good play by Rogers. Tipping it off for Samuels. And against the post! Flicked on, I think, by Bobby Gould. Onto the post. And the closest that Arsenal have been to a goal all afternoon. And certainly Swindon must be very proud with the way things have gone by their own performance in this first half, containing all that Arsenal fire in the opening minutes so well, so confidently, and then taking what little bit of luck has gone their way to put them ahead through uh, Roger Smart. Well, they've really quit, uh, quitted themselves well, Swindon, in this Wembley game. And now it's Smart again, and the whistle goes for half-time. A very good first half indeed by Swindon with Roger Smart, this man with the ball, who has put them ahead against all the odds against First Division Arsenal. Wiltshire with them, a goal up at half-time scored by Roger Smart. And away we go now for the second half. Simpson. One can imagine there was a fair bit of talking going on in the Arsenal dressing room at half-time to put right the things that have been going wrong and make good the damage that's been done. Thomas with the throw. Judging that Smith to Rogers and he miscued as well but found Heath driving one in and down goes Wilson. Stop. Rogers look at that beating McNabb but not your. It's taking two men to look after him all the time and you're putting it back to Wilson. and showing too much of it to Thomas. Those long legs again. Samuels, that was a good piece of running by Samuels. Oh, and good covering there by Downsgrove, although it ricocheted, and Gould is in trouble on the deck. Swindon players around him. Harland in the middle of it. A challenge by Gould on Downsgrove. He looks a bit shaken up a bit. Mr. Handley coming away to have a word with Gould. So 
Richmond and breathe again there for sure. McClintock looking for Radford. Trollop misjudging that one. He's only got Gould in the middle. Armstrong steaming up as well. Radford, good save. Well, he must have felt that Downsborough would have one eye on men advancing on him and he tried to pile one in there just inside that near post. Gould on that ass on that Swindon line. You're in the penalty area as well, number five. And here comes the corner. Gould again putting Downsborough under pressure, but Downsborough as cool as you like. Really has played well this Swindon goalkeeper. And there must be more in the offing for him. Comes the corner. Towards Simpson. And now Radford. Plenty of Arsenal men up now, but so many Swindon men back. One of them is Heath getting it away again. Heath really has played well, Heath. But then who hasn't on this Swindon side? Samuels. Radford. Good save again by Downsborough. Well, he may scratch his head and wonder how he's going to beat Downsborough. First game he's ever had at Wembley, and my goodness, he's going to remember this one. Yet another corner. Placed a bit wider this time, looking for McClintock, and Yor. But before Yor can get there, it's Haaland, it's still bobbing about, McGarrett! Oh, a fine save, it's still not out! Radford. Radford again. Port going in, and down spot. What a goalkeeper! And now he... Rogers outside him, but he's running into trouble. What a pity he had Don Heath completely marked, dangerously placed outside him. And now Radford. Arsenal piling more men forward now, as they must. Gould to Samuels. And Downsborough on this form looks as though he's equal to anything. That tremendous shot from John Samuels. Seven more minutes now for Swindon to hold out for really what will be one of the most glorious victories, certainly the most glorious victory in their whole history. They've been a Football League Cup since 1920, and this is the greatest day of all for them, but here's Gould. this afternoon and now 
with something like three minutes left at normal time. He's beaten at last to Graham. Graham in turn losing it to Penman. Samuels. We're in injury time now and we're facing half an hour of extra time. Over oh, here's Roger. A bad one by McNair. Roger still. A good shot. Goodness, back on the rebound by Don Rogers. Superb play. And they're going to be faced with another half an hour. So if they do win this Football League Cup, my goodness, they'll have a place of football to be worth it. Don Heath. And caught right back. And caught, in fact, is on the deck in a bit of pain. George Armstrong. George Graham rather and there goes the whistle for the end of 90 minutes with Arsenal having been saved so close to the end by this man Bobby Gould who may well have hurt his chest it may not be that he was crying in fact but merely wincing with pain but there is the final score at full time not the final score the score at the end of 90 minutes Arsenal 1 Swindon 1 and we go into extra time Samuels. Now Graham is going for this one. So cool, Downsborough. Graham. He certainly added something to this Arsenal attack since he came on. Graham, a certain fluency and a sprightliness. Looking for men and finding them. And now Rogers, though, with Noble. This is a dangerous one for Arsenal. Heath on the right, but he won't keep it in. You're losing that ball in the air now. Smart, but three Arsenal defenders are back. But yes, Heath advancing very quickly. Smart now in the middle. And very nearly getting it through to Smart. There really is no end to the courage that Swindon are showing this afternoon. And the skill. And a free kick to them now. John Radford with the throw for Arsenal. Gould flicking it on. Is Gould again? Oh, good save. Flicked on by Graham to Gould. And Downsborough showing again that his form is unimpaired by the one that he let through. Butler to Noble to Penman on the break. Heath outside him as Heath. Heath trying to dummy past McNabb and does so. Smart, the man who scored their goal, but very good save by Bob Wilson pushing it onto the post. They really do come back, these Swindon boys, and they've won themselves a corner. And Gould banging it over for another corner. Well, we've got just about to the end of this period of extra time. And it's a brave man who'd put his money on a winner of this game. It's still so very even and so very, very close. Very nearly through. Rogers! A goal by Rogers!
to the end of normal time. Don Rogers puts them ahead. And now that really does put Arsenal in trouble. There is the end of the first period of a half of extra time. And Swindon have gone ahead by two goals to one through this man, Don Rogers. And so Swindon then kick off this second period of extra time. This priceless goal ahead. And 15 minutes more for them to hang on for what really would be a tremendous victory now. Free kick to Swindon. Butler to Penman. Rogers. The great hero. Here's Rogers again. And again. So much confusion in this usually so orderly Arsenal defence. Trollope. And it's the defence that has held Arsenal together for so long this season. And now when most they wanted to, they've creaked and they've groaned a little bit. And have Something under ten minutes to go of extra time. Swindon still very gallantly holding to this one goal lead that they have. Peter Storey. Now can Heath get to this one? He's got Noble there in the middle. Heath. Oh, just wide. Well saved by Wilson. And now Samuels for Arsenal. Armstrong losing it, but Samuels in support. A bad ball again. Straight to Penman. Mind you, it's a terribly difficult pitch, but it's the same for both sides, of course. Although, of course, everyone has been saying that a pitch like this is a great leveller between first and third divisions. Haaland is all right again. And you're now for Arsenal. And smart away for Swindon. Rodgers is streaking ahead, and he's onside. scored the Arsenal goal that seemed to have saved them. Arsenal that really goes down with Walsall in the FA Cup in 1932. Two successive years Arsenal have been here, twice they've been beaten. Snowden there as well. President of the Football League, Mr. Len Shipman. 